I have a memory of standing in the kitchen with my white training shirt on. I feel uncomfortable with how I look and I tell my mother that it makes me look fat and I don't like it. She gives me a concerned, shocked look and repeats what I said to my older sister. I was 10. My mom thought I was too young to be concerned about my body. I have since around then been conscious about the way that my body looks. I have always been active, not in sports, but my family would walk everywhere and I loved skateboarding and biking. I was a tomboy. I did, however, also love sweets and unhealthy food. I was never overweight, but I wasn't the pretty skinny girl that you see in school and on TV. When I was 15 is when I started actively working out. The summer I turned 16, I would run every morning. I started tracking my workouts and my food. After every meal, I would write it down. I was staying at my friend's that whole summer, and I remember her mother sitting us down and telling us to eat more. I got upset, went downstairs, and cried. Neither I, my friend, or her mother understood why. When I got back home from that summer away, I had my own apartment. My parents pay paid for the rent, and I paid for everything else with the little money I got from my studies. I was young, I was alone, and I felt abandoned. This is, in my own analysis of the situation, why I turned to this food obsession and training obsession. I developed a type of orthorexia. I was never diagnosed, but something was wrong. Food and training was everything. I have a journal from that time, which for me is eye-opening to read, and it shows me how far I've come from that time. In my opinion, and in my observation, I was never as sick as other people with similar issues. I did get underweight, underweight though. When it comes to the point where it isn't about losing weight, food, or working out, it's an illness. It affects every aspect of life. Being hungry makes you think about food all the time. It makes you tired. It makes you antisocial. Worry worrying about food makes me scared to meet people because I didn't know if there would be food that I'd be forced to eat. I didn't want to tell anyone because that would mean that they would start keeping track of what I ate or worse of all, maybe they would force me to eat. I couldn't anymore trust the scale or, or the mirror. In my journal, there's a part where I write about that. I write that I can see my bones on my chest, but I don't feel skinny enough. The way I got out of this is, is that I met new people. I started seeing someone, and I started being social. I started drinking, however, and smoking cigarettes, another unhealthy behavior. I switched one self-destructive behavior for another, but I had friends. I was making a family. I was able to talk about my issues instead of being alone and obsessing, obsessing about what I ate. I never got rid of my body image issues, however. But it wasn't everything. When I think about that time, it's it's the loneliest issue to have, I think, or one of the most lonely issues to have, because you do worrying about food and working out and worrying about your body. It's so useless. It is so useless. And worrying if your biggest issue about going out and meeting the world is that there might be food, you are going to be lonely. If you are crying at night because you ate a sweet. The issue isn't anymore about food or training. It is such a life ruining illness. And by being anti body positivity, I am not at all promoting the other side of the problem. Both being over and under weight is a enormous issue and i would not wish anorexia bulimia orthorexia on any young person today or old for that matter i believe that the idea of the body positivity movement is a nice thought um, however i think it also sort of backfires in many ways uh, for instance, the body positivity movement isn't very welcoming. It's not very welcoming for people who are <clears throat> not fat, so, you know, normal-sized or fit people. I've actually heard people say that this community isn't for skinny people, and so it's much more of a fat-positive movement. The community uses words such as fatphobia, and at the same time they are disencouraging people with normal-sized bodies from speaking out. The movement also bashes on BMI and recently there's been images circulating around that claim that overweight people do not, well overweight doesn't exist and that there is no correct weight. And well technically no there isn't a correct weight for everyone uh, and I understand that BMI is outdated but I still believe that the BMI should be used as a guideline to see or 
where you should or a- where you should aim to be according to your height and your age. I'm also aware that people can be a healthy weight but have an unhealthy body fat percentage and that people can be technically overweight but it's all from muscle. But being overweight when the weight comes from fat is very unhealthy and I do not think that you should be disliked for um, not agreeing with the, the body positivity movement. Well, um, I'm a former fat girl. I've lost about 13 kilograms. Um, and I can honestly say that I am a lot happier uh, now than I was back then. Uh, when I was fat, I wasn't very happy. Uh, not necessarily because I was fat, but because I didn't feel like myself. Everyone in my family, that I can remember anyway, they, they've always been normal size. We haven't had many fat people in my family. But when I was fat, I didn't have any energy. Uh, the clothes that I used to wear and used to love didn't fit me. Um, I was just tired all the time and I was ve- living a very unhealthy life. So I don't understand why you would want to promote that kind of lifestyle. Um, this movement wants to make people understand that it's okay to be like that, which I don't think it is. I think, I also think that the movement, they're quite hypocritical. Uh, obesity and overweight is one of the most common self-inflicted cancer causes along with smoking, I believe. Um, smokers, though, they get criticized constantly, whereas fat people, they get praised for their lifestyle choices and for being confident. Being fat doesn't mean ugly, no, but being unhealthy can make you less attractive to a lot of people. And for all we know, this lifestyle or this community is also promoting um, eating disorders such as overeating and binge eating. And I also understand that a lot of people are carrying some extra weight or might be overweight after a pregnancy or surgery. But when it comes to the pregnancy thing, People have to remember that we've been carrying children and giving birth to children for many, many years and that being overweight is a relatively new thing uh, and it's not natural for us to be overweight. The thing is that health, being healthy isn't difficult. Being healthy doesn't mean you have to join the gym or eat steamed chicken. Um, but being healthy is more about taking care of your body and what you put into your body should make you feel good. I mean. I personally do not regret exercising ever, but I might regret eating an entire pizza to myself. And not because I ate, not because the pizza or because I feel guilty, but because I don't feel very good. I mean, I know it's just a pizza, but I don't actually feel very good or I don't have more energy or anything when I've had a pizza. So I choose not to eat pizza every day. Being super thin was never my goal either, but I wanted to have a healthy body um, with a healthy weight and everything. And because of that, the body positivity movement had a negative impact on me, simply because I wanted those things and I did not want to accept my body the way it was because it didn't make me feel good. And therefore I wasn't, I didn't belong in the community and I wasn't allowed in the community. So that's my experience with the movement. I do not think that the body positivity movement helped me in any way and i don't think it's helpful to helpful to a lot of people i think that the body positivity movement goes against itself when it chooses to focus on what bodies look like instead of what bodies can do because with models like tess holiday and panda something i'll get a picture of her up here they're still about the way the body fucking looks and who fucking cares that's that's what gets people in this in this rut in the first place is worrying about what you look like. I think that a healthy body image comes naturally with caring about your body and not stuffing your body with unhealthy foods on the daily. And of course you can get a cheat day or whatever and you you should always be able to eat whatever you want. Food is not supposed to be everything. Training is not supposed to be everything, but you will feel so much better if you just focus on taking care of your body. And I also think that for you to love your body is not for you to post half-naked pictures of yourself with hashtag body positive. Because if you love your body, you don't have to, to have validation from anyone else but yourself or, you know, your partner or the people that you actually care about. Loving yourself is not a number of likes. And I know that I 
I feel a bit of a little bit hypocritical when I'm talking about that because I too struggle with those things and I think that struggling with body image is something that I will have with me for a very long time because I did struggle with it severely at one point which is why I found body positivity and body positivity told me when I was struggling that it's okay to gain weight and it's okay to you know it didn't help me one fucking bit because in the end like I I don't know I think that my friend Tuva really formulated all of this beautifully thank you so much for watching this video I know that it was a little bit different but I hope that you enjoyed it anyways also make sure to go and send some love to my friend Tova for sharing her story I think that she is super brave and she's really cool uh, if you like what I do you can uh, follow me on Twitter you can like this video and subscribe to my channel I put up videos every week or at least I try sometimes I suck <laughs> um, comment what you think of this subject or maybe comment on what you want me to cover next I also have a PayPal if you want to support my work that way uh, I appreciate it just that you are watching this video uh, thank you so much bye